Hey, good evening. It's Susan from the Fatigue Clinic. I'm at home, and I wanted to make a tea that would help my immune system and would address some concerns of COVID. Um, and when I went through the literature, I actually found a lot of great information. There's one study that talks about Moringa. Moringa is an herb. Um, you can use almost all of it, uh, the flower, the tree, the roots, for medicine. Um, and you can get it here in America in a tincture. You can get it as a loose tea. But I wanted to have Moringa as a basis because it gives us so many other things. And there's actually an article that was recently published that talked about Moringa and stopping the COVID-19 process and the inflammatory process. It's in PubMed. Um, and basically, it talks, let me see if I can find the conclusion. Basically, it talks about the most active components um, and it exhibited uh, protection against COVID. And um, actually, they they want to study it for more pharmaceutical um, information so they can develop a drug based on it. Well, why can't we just use the plant? I'm just saying. The plant already does a good job. And there is another um, article that was published, a review on um, Moringa, and it came out with all kinds of different things that would help us just in this the leaf of the tree. Um, but it was on PubMed also. So what I want to do is kind of show you what we're going to do um, with this. It's a Moringa tea, and it literally is, when I looked at this and the things I wanted to put in this, I was thinking about COVID. I was thinking about pneumonia. It's flu season now. Not that we've had any flu in 2021 um, because I haven't had one patient with the flu, and I don't know if anybody else has. But hold on. I'm going to fix this so you can actually see it. Yeah, I think you can see that. There we go. Okay, so a tea picture right here. I've already put the lime in it, and I actually had a lime in my refrigerator, so I just chopped him up and put him in there. I've already put my honey that the gentleman around the corner raises, so it's within the 50-mile radius of my home. Um, you know, honey will, will do this when it's been sitting there a while. You just pop it in there, and it's fine. Um, and what I did was I've already chopped the lime. I've got some ginger. You know, ginger has got antimicrobial, antifungal, antiviral properties. It's an anti-inflammatory. We've done a lot of research as a medical community on ginger. So I chopped it up and put it in my mortar and pedestal. That black stuff is actually a berry that I use. And um, it actually has some anti-inflammatory components in it. And um, I, I just kind of left it in there because I was wondering if it might give the tea a little nip. Uh, ginger. Excuse me, ginger, Lord, garlic. I need to get this tea made so I can drink some of it. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that a pretty color? So, you know, the the garlic, I know I've told you the story about the 100-year-old twins that used to come through the ER, and this is what they did every day. Basically, they had um, a clove of garlic in lemon water, and I'm telling you, those girls drove themselves. They were completely independent. They still dressed alike. Uh, it, it was... Uh, they were very interesting. So I'm just going to put one clove in it today, and I'm going to beat it up and put it in there. Ooh, it smells good. It smells good. Now, personally, I could take more garlic. The more garlic, the better. Um, but some people do not like the taste. So we're going to take this mortal and pedestal, and let's just kind of beat this stuff up a little bit because I'm going to put it in the bottom of my filter. Um... I may even let it start while we get the tea part of it together. Now, okay, so, whoo, it smells good. So, we got all that in there. Um, I'm also going to throw a few orange peels. I actually have a lot of uh, properties that are good for us, but if you get too much, they're kind of bitter. So, I'm just going to kind of put them in there with the honey and the lime to see what we can get. The next thing I want to do is I want to take my oranges. We know oranges, limes, lemons, the citrus fruits. I think I'll eat those. The citrus fruits, they all have a lot of vitamin C. 
and some of the COVID protocols will, um, actually I had a friend that went to New York to work when she got on leave here and she laughed and said she was going to send me the protocol because it looked like something I could have written. But they were giving, if I remember correctly, put that C in there, they were giving uh, six to eight milligrams IV of vitamin C every eight hours along with a few other things. And the patients were getting better and they were able to move out of ICU. So that's, you know, to me, we've been doing vitamin C. I think it was in the 90s. The American Heart Association came out with how it could help keep your uh, coronary arteries clean. And back then, um, there were folks, they were taking vitamin C on higher doses than what's recommended now. So the next thing we're going to do, this is the Moringa tea. You can buy this loose tea anywhere that you buy your teas. Um, a specialty store. It's not going to be at Kroger or Walmart. You can get a Moringa tea because I've seen them there, but it's not going to be loose. It will be in the tea bag, but you can do the same thing with the tea bag. So I've got the Moringa tea in there, and this year I harvested some spearmint from my garden, and I just love spearmint, and mint causes vasodilatation. So it's always a good thing if you have a cold. And the other thing I have a ton of that you can grow too is lemon balm. Lemon balm, it's really pretty. It smells amazing. Lemon balm um, is an old Mediterranean herb. I used to use it for my kids when they got stung by bees. Um, but it's also got a lot of other uses for it. And the other thing I thought about when I was asking myself, you know, viruses. Well, we know viruses do not like lysine. We know um, mono, when it reactivates, I have my patients use lysine and uh, lemon balm and zinc. I'm going to put some lysine in it, and it's just going to dissolve. Um, because I want that extra antiviral kick that I'm going to get. So, we're going to go like that. Here's the top over here. And we're going to just put that down there like that. And as you know from the past, it's going to start turning colors. Okay. Um, I'll come back in about 15 minutes and it will have a nice color to it and it will be a nice tea. So, just to kind of recapture the things that we used. Let me get them back over here so you can see them. Always add my honey and my lime to my hot water first. Honey is better if it's within 50 miles of your home. It's going to be better for your immune system. Okay. We, cuties, they're all over the place right now. I just like them. They're easy to, um, they're easy to peel. Uh, but I try to eat two or three of these, minimum three a day, just for the vitamin C content. And then supplement with Dr. Mercola's vitamin C, uh, liposomal C. We use, and I've been using this for a while. I may have to freeze it, but I just love this stuff. Um, we got some turmeric right here. And you know from some of the other things that we've done, that will be healed in like 48 hours. We've got some garlic, which is, that's just, a, isn't that not the prettiest color? And it smells good. Um, and then we had the Moringa loose tea itself. I had the spearmint, and I think I showed you the spearmint tea. Yep, yeah, the spearmint tea. Anytime you harvest herbs, you want to put them in a dark container. Uh, same thing for your tinctures. When you make them, you want to put them in a dark container because uh, the light will break them down. And that's my lemon balm. And I actually had another mint over here. I was going to put a little bit more mint in it, but the spearmint smells so good. And that's just plain um, mint. Oh, it smells good. So, we're going to put all that in there. See, it's already starting to change colors. Um, it should be a nice orange color. Um, maybe a, a deeper orange with some of this root in it. But that is a good way for you to sip on tea tonight to get your immune system boosted up before you go to work tomorrow. Uh, we will get... I've got several other teas that we're going to make that all have evidence-based medicine behind them, which means... I can pull research from PubMed or the Cochrane Collection, um, and I can show you where each one of these items actually has proven to help you. But with modern medicine, they're going to want to take this 
and make it into a, ca well, a capsule. They already have, haven't they? Um, instead of you getting the real thing. So you've got to be able to use the natural products also. Um, and, you know, I just don't know what we think as humans we can improve on when the creator has already made these things the way he thought they needed to be made. But try this tea. It's really good. Try to get the next one up sometime next week. Have a great evening.